Oh, uh, good afternoon, Miss Wilson. Oh, good afternoon. Isn't Dad here? Your father's in conference, Tommy. Oh, uh, uh, may I come in? Well, aren't you in? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, are you alone? Not now. What's on your mind today, Tommy? Well, there's an important question I want to ask you, Miss Wilson. It's a question of vital importance, which you alone can answer. Why, Tommy, what can it be? Well, uh, do you think... No. Would it be possible... Oh, may I call you Grace, Miss Wilson? Why, certainly, if you like. Oh, thank you, Grace. Tommy, will you take this general order to Miss Ryan in the mimeographing department and ask her to make 20 copies, 15 of which are to be delivered to Mr. McCarthy in the shipping room and the other five to Mr. Jones in the accounting office. All are to be posted in conspicuous places on the bulletin boards. All right, I'll do it. Miss Wilson. Yes? Take a letter. Yes, sir. And when I say letter, I mean letter. Wells and Hawks, comma, 809 State Street, comma, Chicago, comma, Illinois, period, semicolon. Gentlemen. No, scratch that out. Don't call them gentlemen. There isn't a gentleman in that whole organization. Call them liars. Call them cheats. Call them cutthroats. Call them anything you like. Your shipment arrived today, and for inefficiency, for slipshod methods, for downright dishonesty, your firm should be awarded the inkless fountain pen, to say nothing of the silk lined tomato can. I am returning all your junk by freight, yours without respect. Get that right out, let me see it, and type it in red ink. Yes, sir. Paper. Oh, yes, I disposed of it. You know, Grace, every minute I was gone seemed like an hour. You must wear your wristwatch over your heart. Oh, no, no. Here. Time is measured by heart throbs, not by revolutions on a dial. My letter, Miss Wilson. Mm, yes. I tell you, when they read this, they'll know who they're dealing with. Wells and Hawks, 809 State Street, Chicago, Illinois. Gentlemen. Your shipment received, but owing to breakage, is not satisfactory. Am returning invoice of goods received. Would suggest in the future that more care in packing would ensure less loss en route. Yours, very truly. Is this what I dictated? Well, practically. Well, perhaps you're right. Oh, well, uh, your son is here. He's here? Yes. He's home. Well, well, well. Well, there he is. Well, well, Sonny, old man. Why, I'm glad to see you, glad to see you. I never saw you looking better. My necktie and my shirt. I thought you were home. 
Sit down, son. Sit down. I've got so much to talk over with you. Glad to see you. Glad to see you. Why, it seems I'm just a week or so every now and then between your college courses. That's about the only chance I get. Well, son, well, what's on your mind? Well, Dad? Yes. Uh, I wanted to ask if... No. I'll tell you right now, no. You cannot have that car tonight. For the past three nights, there hasn't been a drop of gasoline No, no, that isn't it, Dad. Uh, do you think a fellow should get married young? I have never heard anything like that in my life. Married young? Why, certainly not. My dear boy, every man, before he thinks of getting married, should wait. Wait until he cuts his wisdom tooth. Every man should wait and think it over very, very carefully. But, Dad, you and Mother were only 21. An entirely different affair. Your mother was a very wonderful woman. They don't make them like her anymore. My, it's been six years now, son, since she left us. It's been very, very lonesome. Don't you answer me back like that. What put this idea of marriage in your head? Well, I've been thinking about... Well, stop thinking about it. That's the whole trouble with marriage nowadays. Too much thought. Do... Well, you just said... Don't that... tell me what I said. I know what I said. I'm doing the talking. Besides, you've got to finish your college course first. Oh, but, Dad, I've met the most wonderful woman. Why, in the three weeks I've known her, I've discovered a new world. Three weeks? I put your studying up there in that school? Oh, I'm speaking seriously. I see you are, son. I see you are. Well, who is she? Miss Wilson. Wilson? Very familiar name, Wilson. That's a good name, son. A good, strong name, full of character. You don't mean my secretary. Yes, sir. She's the quintessence of beauty. She, uh, she's the what? Don't you talk like that about anybody. The quint, 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 a uh, beauty. Oh, a beauty. Yeah. Oh, Miss Wilson is. Yes, she's a, a very, very pretty girl. She's magnanimous and fine. She is mag, uh, and, and she's fine. She is. She is indeed. She's pure as a driven snow. Oh, certainly, boy, certainly. And she's self-reliant, too. She is self-reliant. Yes, yes, sir, yes, she is self-reliant. Well, uh, how long has she been with you? Who, uh, Miss Wilson? Let's see, 30 days has September, April, June, and November. Ju uh, two years. Well, then, surely you must have noticed these qualities in her. You would have thought so, wouldn't you? I don't understand it. I think possibly when a man gets to be my age, son, he's less observant of women than whippersnappers at your age. Uh, but now that you speak of it, she is, uh, she is, uh, mag uh, she's quint, uh, she, a lovely, lovely woman, Miss Wilson, lovely woman. Well, well, then I have your consent to marry her? Have you hers? Uh, no, sir. Well, then you don't need mine. Oh, this is no time for repartee. It certainly isn't. It's a very serious affair. You're altogether too young to be married, son. Besides, I want you to finish college, then I want you to take a trip. Take a long trip, as long as you like. Go to China. I don't care when you come home. Stay as long as you like and see everything before you come back and settle down in an office for the rest of your life. And besides, Miss Wilson is altogether too old for you. Don't answer me like that. She is so. And don't worry, son. Everything will be all right. Now, I'll, uh, I'll give you a nice check in the morning for five dollars. Five dollars. Why so sad, Tommy? The shades of night have fallen over my soul. All is dark in here. Will you let me speak to you? Like a friend. Friend? Hollow word. I who love you. Let's be sensible, Tommy. You're 19 and I am... Wonderful. That's a very pretty speech, but I'm much older than that. And besides, Tommy, you have your college course to finish. Well, what's college compared to love and romance? I may be young, Grace, but I've seen life. I sing with a poet. One moment, let my lifeblood stream. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, from boyhood's fount of flame. 
Give me one giddy reeling dream of life, all love and fame. Well, giddy dreams end in nightmares. Oh, you're disconcertingly practical at times. And if you really must know it, Tommy, my heart belongs to another. Another? Yes. Oh, my cup is bitter. Who is he? Well, I should prefer not to say. Well, I hope he's worthy of you. I hope. I am worthy of him. Uh, what, what's he look like? Have you got a picture of him? Yes, I have a picture of him right here in my desk. Does he love you in the exalted way that you deserve? He's never spoken of his love. Never spoken of his love? Oh, fate is unkind. Gee, I had hoped that the cruelties of life would pass you by. Now we can be friends, can't we, Tommy? Friends? Friends? Friends! Well, perhaps you're right, Grace. Friendship is a sweet bond, and I do, I am pretty young, and, and I want to finish college, because after I finish college, maybe then we can be married. Oh. Oh, but Dad. Oh, Miss Wilson. What's the matter with Miss Wilson? Is she ill? No, sir. Oh. She's in love. With you? No, sir, with somebody else. With whom? I don't know. Well, how do you know? She told me. What else did she tell you? Uh, she said he had never spoken his love. Never spoken of it? Mm. Never mentioned it? Not a word? Mm. Well, what's the matter with him? Must be a cripple. He's deaf and dumb and blind. Well, there's his picture on her desk. That one? Mm hmm She told me that that was her brother. She did? I thought she was far too interested in her brother. Good looking, isn't he? <laughs> yes, yes, if you like that sort of a face. A receding chin, I knew it. See that chin? See? See how it goes back? That's a squint in the eye right there. That's a distinct squint, see? In both of them. Looks Russian to me. That, about how old a man do you think he is? Oh, he's a man about 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. I don't know, I don't know. I know judge of men's ages. Well, Dad, oh, blonde, wavy hair. See? Blonde, wavy hair. Well, do you think that blondes are more attractive to women than brunettes? I wonder. They are not. Don't you ever get an idea like that in your head? Your mother told me that if I hadn't been a brunette, she... Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know. Dad, listen. Do you think that women... I like... don't think anything about women. I don't know anything about them. Nobody knows anything about them, and I know less than anybody else. When you get out of here, you've ruined my day completely. Uh, ask Miss Wilson to come right in here. Right in here. Mm. Miss Wilson, right in here. Blue-eyed Russians. Blonde-haired. Long eyelashes, I suppose. I thought I told you to go... Sit down, Miss Wilson.
Uh, Miss Wilson? Take a letter. Brown and Jones, Akron, Ohio. Sirs, kindly send three of your metal filing cabinets, number 692, at the price quoted in your letter of November 13th. Uh, Miss Wilson, are you fond of home life? Why, yes, sir. That's nice. The uh, check for these filing cabinets will be forwarded upon delivery. Uh, Miss Wilson, are you fond of children? Surely. Uh, that's nice. Uh, my son was telling me that you... Uh, this is to Skinnem and Skinnem, attorneys, Washington, D.C. I'm enclosing herewith, for collection, a bill against a firm in your city. Uh, Miss Wilson? Yes. Uh, do you sew? Oh, yes, I'm very fond of fancy work. That's nice. The itemized statement and the uh, memoranda are enclosed herewith. The cold water drunkenness cure, Volstead, Kansas. Kind sirs, please stop sending me letters in regard to your cold water liquor cure. The constant receipt of these letters with your name emblazoned, uh, that's a Z in emblazoned, on the envelope, caused every one of my employees to believe that I am a confirmed drunkard. Uh, Miss Wilson, you don't think that I'm a boozer, do you? Oh, on the contrary, I've always admired you. That's nice. Your temperance. Uh, that's nice. This is a straight telegram. Freshwater College, Missouri. Kindly reserve room in dormitory for the return of my son, Thomas. Uh, Miss Wilson? Yes? You do think that he should return to college, don't you? I certainly do. The quicker, the better. That's nice. Uh, Miss Wilson, uh, my son was telling me that you uh, have an admirer. Well, that's hardly accurate. I told him that I admired someone greatly. Well, I'll be, I, I mean to say, mm -hmm. I thought that he, you know, what I wanted to say was that I but really, I don't see how anyone could fail, <laughs> could help but admire. But just recently, it has seemed that uh, perhaps he does care for me, just a little. He does? Yes. He does. He does. That's nice. Uh, Miss Wilson, uh, what I was leading up to was... Yes. Why, it's five o'clock. Is, uh, is that all? Well, uh, practically. Uh, good night, Miss Wilson. Nice girl. Oh, nice girl. Nice girl. Nice girl. Miss Wilson. Miss Wilson? Uh, Miss Wilson. Yes? Uh, Miss Wilson, uh, uh, what is it? Yes. Uh, sit down, sit down, Miss Wilson, sit right down. Yes? Uh, take a letter uh, oh. uh, on the machine. Oh. Dear, sweet, kind young lady, I have been deaf and dumb and blind. Oh, I wish I could spout poetry as my son does in order to prove my devotion, but I can't. In other words, to be short, to be brief, and to the point, 
will you marry me? Yes, that's the letter. Isn't there any answer? Well, who is it to? Why, Miss Grace Wilson. In another moment, I should have proposed myself. Oh, Grace. <laughs> who is he? Who is he? Right there, who is he? Well, that's my brother. I've often spoken of him. Of course you have. I told him it was your brother. I told him all the time. I... But he told me that you told him that you had a picture of the man you loved on your desk. Oh, I said in my desk. I told him it was in the desk. I told him. I told son, 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 come in, come in. Miss Wilson, Miss Wilson has an announcement to make. Oh, what is it? I'm going to be married. You are? I am. To me? Oh, no. To whom? Ask Dad. He knows. 